Oh! What was that? What happened? I'm gonna try to take it the whole way. Okay. So. Perfect. You're in the perfect third. So this is actually the first time we've looked at this suspension for the Mini. Right on me, right on me, right on me. Woo! Let's go! Coming on the left. What's up gamers, I'm Hayden the Woo, this is Victor Shambora, and today we're talking about the Commander Mini. Commander Mini, there's a big one and there's like a medium one coming out, but this is the small one. It's gonna be a fun day. We have the mechanics from Alien Rides. They're gonna help us open this thing up and see what is in this beast. Oh, we made it. Oh man, all right, here you guys go. What did you do I to don't, this? It, I'll show you later. I don't want to talk about it. Missing a headlight, bunch of scratches. Held it pretty well though. Can you guys fix it? What kind of question is that? Of course we can fix it. We just want to make sure everything inside is still okay. I'll put on transport mode. This wheel totally flew under our radar. We assumed we were gonna ride it. Yeah, but we weren't excited to ride it. No. But then we go to the shop one day and I see a little 16 inch wheel hiding out in the corner. I'm like, oh, what is that? It looks so clean. It was polished. It was, you know, just slick. I, I think I took it out for like 30 seconds. And I was like, I'm sold. I come back, I rush back in the shop. I'm like, Hayden, you gotta ride this. You weren't so sold. I wasn't really sold on it because I, I had a T4 and like all these other 16 wheels, they're great for a purpose, for that nimbleness factor and stuff. But in my head, I was like, ah, for speed though, mm. people are just sort of choosing which meter to put their allocations of effort and budget into. I'm just so used to people not putting any points into ride feel. How a wheel is built to the point where you forget that it's not just directly connected to your brain. The people who make these things don't really think about that stuff as much because that's not the way they ride. And they were just going into the like, how many cup holders can we put on this thing? How many LEDs can we put? How big of the suspension? How much battery? And then even the way they build these the pads. And that's fine if you're making a thing, you know, make it the way you envision that you want it to do it. So I just sort of is in this camp of like being less and less inspired by the industry. But then this thing, <sighs> it's like, where they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a grade. She needs to flow with a designer panties. Yeah, we eat a penny, check the pantry from the sound wave to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet the sign a major for the bank roll. But then I'm gonna send it. 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 Commander Mini is a 134 volt wheel, so it's 32 battery series. It's got 2,400 watt hours of battery. So if you're a crazy demon rider, you're always riding at the top speed, uh, you'd probably get something like 30 miles. If you're just cruising around, just doing some errands, things like that, maybe something like 50 miles. A lot of people are gonna look at an EUC like this, they're gonna think that doesn't have enough range, but that's not the point of what we're doing here. I think we could both agree, this is a city killer. Very dense, very urban environment. It's all about quick torque, quick break, nimbleness, get around town. It's a sports car at a track. Except the track is an entire city. It's got a C38 torque motor. That's like the secret sauce for all of the 134 volt wheels on the market right now, or not all of them, but uh, the majority. By raising the voltage, now you get the best of both worlds. You get the punchy, feeling of the C38 torque motor with 50 mile an hour top speed. Let's talk about the stability, the ride feel. Let's Holy talk about- Holy crap. I was full sending way harder than I realized. Why is it beeping? What's happening? I'm not even, and I'm like, it says like 50. And I'm like, oh. oh. There is a pretty big following for Bigod wheels simply because of the way that they ride very performance centric. They have that crazy ride feel. They have the power, the torque. We talk about torque characteristic a lot. The reality is some like give you a lot of power up front and then they even out and they give you more in the middle. But this thing is every level, every speed, it gives you the same amount of torque. So it doesn't feel like you're gonna cut out any point of that. You don't need to back off because you know, they're, you're waiting for the next level of torque to kick in on this. I'm just gonna take off, you can send it. So this 
is half of the Commander Mini suspension. It's using this as your suspension travel. So those are like self-lubing graphite copper bushings. I would say this part is a lot better than roller. Those can break. Yes, the suspension is incredible. A Sherman suspension and a Bagode wheel, it is an unfair advantage by all rights. Not a lot of moving parts in there. Everything is battened down so tight. So when you ride it, there's no oscillations. There's no nothing. The suspension does exactly what you want it to do, which is forget that it exists. Two. Okay, so these are two of the Commander Mini battery packs. They actually put a lot of thought into this. It feel very balanced. Center gravity is just about like right here, just a little bit south of the middle, and that makes it incredibly stable. I forgot to worry about wobbles. I forgot all my muscle memory, like totally didn't even have to get formed. There's multiple sets of adjustment holes, so you could actually raise or lower the pedals. To some people, that quarter of an inch could mean just a little bit more stability if you were to like lower this down. I'm doing more things that I would not feel comfortable doing, like if I wasn't riding something so small and so powerful. 20 inch wheels, still super tall. You know, there's a lot more consequences you move around. Like on a master, I have to make sure that all of my moves are very predetermined because I can't just escape from a scenario. But this thing freaking rides like an EXN that just happens to have Sherman suspension. And it still goes 50. That's ridiculous. So I, I'm riding it like an EXN. I've been modified, fortified, feeling like a Mordecai. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my n***a die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them n***a slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize. Perpetuating war to that n***a, he gon' pick a side. Hood ties from hood lines, my n***a's doing dope lines. I'm running to the couch, to the couch, to the exercise. Uh. I can just quickly, like, immediately dart in a totally different direction. Granted, it is still a 16 inch, so I can't super deep carve on it for a long period of time. But that's not what it's for. Right. We are so much more nimble on this wheel at 16 inches than we are at 20. You're not going to get the deep carve, and that's a trade off. I think you said you wanted a tire change, right? I think it's beaded. Oh, that's good. So, beaded rims kind of have a, a big lip. You don't have to worry about really seating the tire too much or uh, having it fall off the rim. Hardly any of the EUCs are actually beaded rims. It is a nice change. It's stuck. My god. Most tires I can get off really easily. It's really weird. There we go. And my biggest gripe is the tire. Since it is 16 inches, you are very limited on the type of tire that you can get for this wheel. We just have more motorcycles and bikes and stuff that use 20 inch rims. So it was the kind of crash that most wheels would not survive. Bagode in particular has been moving over to all metal casing. Build quality is just definitely going to be more durable just because it's just transferring the energy over across the one big piece of metal. The main damage is these. They kind of bend on impact for a wheel that went tumbling down the street. This is solid. solid. People ask for it. Here you go. Full metal. Yeah, the, the, apparently the stock headlight is not so great. So we not had great. the EX30 headlight, which works amazing. Mm -hmm. It's bright as heck and all. You can tell they didn't care about the trolley handle. It's plastic. But for all the Bigot fan who hate on replacing trolley, this is easy. So you're removing one, two, three brackets on each side. The trolley handle would come right off. So the rear light is very bright, which is great. The biggest complaint with it is that it only has one mode, which is just blinking. People wish that it would maybe be like a smart functioning light where if you like lean back to brake that it would like glow brighter. You can tell that they didn't care about the screen because it's just a display that says speed, temperature, battery, and distance. Yeah, like if you have a master, this will look the same, but not say extreme, but big out. You know, they're gonna be lacking all these quality of life and I think it's still going to be like that. Most people who get the GOAT Extreme, they tend to be like, it's part of performance. The amenity is kind of like secondary options to them. But for some reason has a great speaker. Also the beeps on this thing are freaking loud. Dude, uh, that's why it's so confident. In group rides, I'll be beeping and people are like, wait, is that me? Who's that? Is that us? So this was the Alien Rides like airshipped demo unit. They gave it to us to play around with and test and stuff. But we liked it so much that we didn't give it back. <laughs> I've been listening to birds cry. I've been viewing from a bird's eye. 
That's why I always keep my third eye Again? open. I'm focused. Once I pass the collide, now we traveling worldwide. Some people think I'm fake, cause I ain't never reply. But that well is run dry. The people I used to confide in thought they was riding, but it was feelings they was hiding. You tried it, now I'm thinking wild, cause I thought that you was silent. Could have been making money, but you steady making prowlers. Could have been here with us, yeah, but now you in them comments. You was wildin'. If it's real, you know it's gonna come back. It's that season, but there's no comeback If you let go, then please don't run back Cause if it ain't love, then we don't want that Yeah. I can't go back. I can't go back. That's why I was like, let's just buy it. Cause I know I just can't go back. And I'm not gonna ride another wheel until the GT comes out. Cause if it ain't love, then we don't want that This is for everybody. Yeah. I'm sorry, but like, if you're not riding this, f you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we, uh, you, you used to always say like, are we master truthers? I'm like, no, cause we're telling people it's hard to ride. <laughs> Piece of shit. And, and, but I think I might be a commander mini truther. Yeah, same. I actually, cause even after the GT comes out, I'm still going to be recommending this. I don't know. Most people in the city don't need a 20 inch. No.